All right, so this question is more about if your goals change depending on what stage you are in your training or in your career. So as a student, as a competitor, as an instructor, if there was any change of my goals, of course, as a student, you want to progress and be as high as you can and whichever level you can attain. As a competitor, you want to win medals and be successful and so on. Uh, but as an instructor, I feel that's, what, in my opinion, what's the most gratifying. I want to build students above the average. So I want to make the average above their average. And ultimately, I want to change people's lives through the martial arts. So this particular question uh, was about how much training did I do under great legendary Hickson Gracie and who were the people I learned from? Okay, so I had the fortune of being born in the midst of the most awesome uh, legendary family in, in the jiu-jitsu world, the Gracie family. And uh, I was fortunate to learn from late Carlson Gracie, late Halls Gracie, uh, Carlos Gracie Jr., Crawling Gracie, and some from Hickson Gracie. All right. But I would say that the main responsible group to whatever degree of jiu-jitsu that I achieved, uh, the majority of it were my brothers, uh, Hegan Roger, Jean Jacques, and John. I spent more time on the mat with them than with anybody else. But I'm thankful and actually learned from every single master that I was able to be honored to learn from. So somebody asked me, do you pull guard early? I mean, if you watch jiu-jitsu tournaments these days, <laughs> the guard is one of the most powerful aspects of jiu-jitsu. And it's not uncommon that everybody wants to pull guard because you spend less energy, you, you can attack and do quite a few things to score points and so on, to find dominant position. But I'm a believer that you have to exploit more aspects than one. So I don't feel inclined just to pull guard. It's, it, could be, it could be part of my ass strategy, but I don't want to be limited just to that. I'd like to actually, if the other guy wants to pull guard on me, I, I don't mind trying to pass. So that, that's an interesting question right now. Uh, what advice I have for older men in regards to training and benefiting from jiu-jitsu. I think jiu-jitsu is such an amazing activity that it tremendously benefits anybody of all ages, in particular the 40 and 50 plus crowd, all right? But these are the requirements, all right? Train smart. It's not how hard you go, it's the slow and steady pace on a continuous basis. And your goal is growth and longevity, not immediate results. You're there in the long run. So use jiu-jitsu as part of your lifestyle so you have motivation in many other areas, your nutrition, your side uh, exercise and fitness level, your recovery, that everything work in conjunction with the training to support one another. That's my advice. Make that a lifestyle. Is it showing up to class one of the most important things in jiu-jitsu, to never stop showing up? And I'll, I'll tell you this, consistency creates competence. Competence creates confidence. When you pass those three stages, you don't have to be motivated to train. You already know that's something you have to do it because you want to do it, okay? So uh, repetition is the mother of skills, and mat time is a critical part of your jiu-jitsu journey. And I think if you're doing the right way, you will never regret going to train every time.